All right, one of the first things you're going to want to do to get yourself set up is download and install the ODBC or Open Database Connectivity driver. So I'm going to go to the PostgreSQL website and just download directly from them. Uh, it's uh, free. Uh, I don't have to pay for it. There's no licensing. So I'm going to scroll down and get one of the more recent versions. So here I've got a zip version of uh, 13.02, and I'm going to choose the 64-bit version rather than the 32-bit. That's the x86 there. So I'll download that zip file. And I've got a folder here already set up for drivers. So I'll do the PostgreSQL here and I save it. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up that folder in File Explorer. And I'm done with my browser. So now I'm going to unzip these two files. Basically, I'm just going to copy them out of the zip archive and into my main folder. And at that point, I can get rid of my zip archive. The README just has a little bit of information about the file itself, but what we're interested in is this MSI file. So with the MSI file, I can actually go ahead and just double click on it and start the installation. So I'm going to run the setup wizard here. I accept the terms, click next. Um, you can choose to install or not install the documentation and only adds another 240K to your installation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click next. And then I'll install the driver. All right. So that's a fairly quick operation. I'll go ahead and close my file explorer. And now I'm going to bring up my start menu and just start typing in ODBC. And you'll see as I do that, ODBC data sources uh, the app shows up as an option. So I will choose that. And what opens up is a set of connections that I already have, data sources. Uh, data source names is uh, what they're officially called, DSNs. So I've got some already set up for DBase, Excel, Microsoft Access, and Visio. And you can see there are a number of tabs. So you can set up DSNs number of different ways and then you can uh, uh, work your way through parameters of uh, your drivers etc and how you want to set tracing and, and log files up for your ODBC drivers we're not going to worry about that we're just going to stick right here with the user or system DSN so, so these are pretty much the same the only difference is the user DSN is only going to apply to this particular user ID that I'm logged into uh, with Windows right now. The system D DSN is going to apply to any user that logs into this. So if you've got your laptop or computer set up for multiple users to log in and get their own set of files and everything, this will let everybody see uh, any connection that you set up. So I'm gonna add one here. And we scroll down and we now see these PostgreSQL connections we've just created. I'm going to choose the Unicode 64, X64, the 64-bit version, and click Finish. And then what it does is uh, it's going to ask me to configure this DSN that I'm setting up for the PostgreSQL ODBC driver. All right. So what I'll do is I'm just going to give this a name. I'll call it um, XBRL Edgar Database. Okay. The description is optional. I can just uh, put connect to XBRL documents or database. So the actual database we're going to use is called Edgar underscore db and that's all in lowercase i'm going to leave the uh, ssl mode at disabled just like it is the server is public dot xbrl dot us so xbrl dot us uh, 
uh, has the server that this database sits on. The FASB works in conjunction with XBRL US to maintain the taxonomy and then, of, uh, of course, uh, works with the SEC to maintain the filings. The port we're going to use is 5432. This is just a virtual gateway that we're using uh, to connect to the system. And then you will key in your username and you may have gotten this from your instructor. You may have gotten it from FASB or XBRL US. And then your password. So you'll uh, key in your password. And of course you'll see it gets covered by dots or asterisks when you key it in. At this point, and you can ignore the data source and global options here. At this point, it's a good idea to test your connection to make sure it's going to work. So that's what I'm going to do here. I click test. I get the message that my connection was successful. So I'm happy about that. So I click OK. And now I can save my connection. I've got it ready to go here now in my system DSN. Anybody that uses this computer now can use this data source name. All right, so that's it for setting up and configuring your ODBC connection to the XBRL Edgar database. I'll click OK, and that's it for this video.